MEA, or malt extract agar, is the go-to agar recipe for home mycologists. It provides the perfect adjustable recipe for growing out contaminant-free mycelium cultures. The great thing that we have discovered with malt extract is you can adjust the amount of nutrients and dextrose according to how much you want to feed your cultures. We started with a standard 10 gram agar, 10 gram malt extract per 500 milliliters of purified water and definitely got quick tomentose growth, but it was hard to determine what was good mycelium and what was possible contamination. We have since come up with a standard MEA recipe that works to promote the onset of rhizomorphic growth while reducing the chance of contamination by using a 10 gram agar, 7.5 gram malt extract to 500 milliliters of purified water. Through much research, we found that adjusting levels of nutrients really changed the growth to a more rhizomorphic pattern. Multiple transfers using different agar recipes helped us achieve the growth we were looking for. When we dialed back the malt extract a little, the mycelium seemed to stretch out, searching for nutrients while containing and or eliminating any contamination. When cloning or working with spores, we have found water agar to be the best recipe to start with. We then transfer to MEA plates, then a final transfer to MYA gives us the rhizomorphic growth we desire. There seems to be some confusion around malt extract and light malt extract. There are various malt extracts including light, amber, extra light, pilsen, wheat, rye, and even dark extracts which are used for brewing various styles of beer. All indicators show that any malt extract will work, but it seems that light malt extract is preferred in mycology. The malt extract we use and that is shown in our videos is actually a light malt extract. Using 500 milliliters of boiling, purified, or distilled water, mix 10 grams of agar and 7.5 grams of malt extract. Pressure cook for no longer than 20 minutes at 15 PSI so you don't caramelize the sugars or overcook the nutrients. Allow the MEA to cool between 120 and 140 degrees, then you're ready to pour. We love hearing from you in the comments below. Thanks so much for hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when we have new videos for you.